flight of Super Mario 3 Run. My name is not Ethan and I, and I'm here to bring you a Let's Play. Let's start it. As you can see, I have played before, but I'm going to erase one of these files. Begin this cutscene. Looks like it's dark and stormy. And leaves are flying everywhere. Uh, and there is Bowser. Oh look! That's Tanuki. It's big. Oh, who's that? Oh look, it's Mario and his friends. Well, Super Mario goes weak. Except for Luigi. Oh look, a floating letter. Hi, land in the sky. Oh no. Watch this. 3D effects. Yeah. So there's Bowser. He obviously cannot consist of Bowser's way. Oh snap. And looks like we're going to start another adventure. Chase the birdie, chase the birdie. Jump in, jump in. The first Goomba to die. The first Tanuki me too. Let's see what this can do. Cool. And already. And the quarter, not bad for, you know. Watch this. Okay, clear out everything in the area. Could never know when. Anyways, I thought we should know that um, I had made footage of this earlier, and when I went to edit it, what happened was that um, it somehow disappeared from my computer. So yeah, after we film this. Anyways, the coins won't be brand new because I had got them in the original film, so it might be a lot. So now you know where this one is. See it's right there. I'll just get it to show you. Basically, what happens is you collected the star coin and replay a level. This gives you three extra coins if you find it again. I think. Yeah. Have you noticed that with now the Dumas, their power has like sort of evolved or something? Before they used to walk in the suit, now they charge. It's still stupid when they see Mario. Oh look, mushroom! Yeah. Anyways, if you have a lower item, say for example a mushroom and you already have two Tanuki leaf, one you're using and one in reserve, you get uh, 10 extra coins for like a mushroom or something. Oh, look, pirate wheel. And get this block and this block and this block. Damn it. You know this game is old for me to be releasing it, but whatever. 
Wish you could attack birds in this game. Or probably you could attack Skylanders. I mean sheep in Skylanders. Be pretty awesome. See? That's how you get 10 coins. I wanted to do a giant Goomba smash. Yay! Oh So yeah. After the flagpole. Yeah, so what happened was I'm and the worst part is this was a really long clip of the movie. I had gone to like the second part of stage two and it all deleted. I'm so upset. All of that hard work was ow. I always get hit by that for some reason. Oh I'm doing terrible. You know what? I'm gonna exit out so I still have my Kanuki leaf. Yeah, I want that to make you eat that much. That much. Anyways, I'll try to dodge it this time. Yes! I dodged it. Time. You know, I feel like every level in every Mario game is designed to highlight, like in World 1, is designed to highlight, like, one power up. For example, the first one is the Tanuki Lift. This level is supposed to highlight the Fire Flower. Also, have you ever noticed that the, um, what do, what do you call it, um, that World 1 Dash 2 is almost always a cave world, and World 2 is almost always a desert? Yeah, stuff like that. No, I fell down. have become much more powerful. Now I can stand on top of each other without falling down. Still not that smart, but kinda smart for a Goomba. The cool thing is when you find secrets, get some cool coins, and that nice clapping makes you feel proud of yourself. Starman, Starman. Starman. Yeah, Starman. Okay, and we're back. Let's start this. Okay, got that 10 second time. See, this is the part that sucks about this. These ink flowers, they always get you. See, I, I was totally out of the screen, and they still got me. How does that even work? Oh, look. Metal. Now, to hit that. Cool. I'll show the secrets of this level and the end. There are two of them. Okay, I need to get a golden flag. So I decided to tweak the challenge. Instead of losing a life, it's getting a game over. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's like Mario beat his luck.
That music is awesome. Okay, now this. I wonder what this is. It's like a question block. Welcome to the mystery box. Sounds like Hammer Brothers. Clear that room and get them behind them before time runs out. You might even find a star medal. Clock is ticking. Oh no. You see, the cool thing about this game is that if you have three or more of the same items, that you can still get ten coins for it. Oh no, I didn't even get the mystery thing. Wait, did I? Oh, I did. Never mind, I did. That I didn't. It was those memory lapses. It's like those toad houses. Except for free coins. Always keep a tanuki in reserve so you can get the top of the flag coin. I'm gonna put it right now. I don't know why I keep on hitting the volume down button. Look, regular piranha plants, finally. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, the 3D is annoying me. Hitting a Koopa. Coolio. That's one of those music things from the first level. Oh, right. I need to get the star coin. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot about getting the star coin. See, you have to look through this thing. You might even see a UFO. Yeah, let's get that star coin. That's another one of these Easter eggs. This game is chock full of Easter eggs. Okay, let's go to the mystery box. I wonder what's in there. Maybe it's another few star coins. Looks like a different. And this one is... Oh, that forever. And that's just a good way to get money. Lula. As they call it in some places. Whoa, glitch! I didn't even have a Tanuki leaf. Oh, I just killed myself. Well, you remember, I said game over, not lose a life. Oh well, screw it. Another cool thing is that unlike in regular Super Mario Bros, wait, hang on. You can jump on Piranha Plant, which is epic. But the sad thing is, even though if you already collected the star medal, you don't have to recollect it if you lose a life. There's still no match. No, I lost it. Eh, no way. Because I got this. Ooh, multicolored one. What's this thing? Mm, I wonder what this does. Okay, let's see. like a cool mini game at least. Kicking the rock. Yeah. 
I wonder how Mari does this. Shoot fireball from his hand. You know, get on a cloud, not fall down. It's so weird. How does he do it? I mean, if you could walk on clouds. No. Okay. Take your time, let me tell you nice. Take your time. No! Why can't I grab that? Finally! Ow! I know how that feels. I jumped off really high level levels before. It hurts on your knees because the gravity is so much that it's it's like a pain. If you get after the shot. No, I missed it. Oh well. I'll come back for that. For the top of the flag. Okay. We'll see you guys there. And we're back and let's get that top of the flag. Yay, finally. Okay. Now we beat the game. You know what really sucks? There's no Bowser Jr. Koopalings. Just Bowser. Just plain socks. I wanted to have a mini boss. Okay. Secret level. I think I didn't talk that all of us down there for so long. Looks like we unlocked a bonus level. Let's start this. This game is kind of tedious. For like, if you played it a lot, it's kind of tedious. I mean, sure, you get a lot of joy playing it for the first time, but I've played it before. Wow, coins tried to trick me. Goomba, first pair of Goomba of the year. No, no, that's whatever. Okay, another pair of Goomba. If I just came on this a full time, I can actually beat this level. If you're wondering, because I'm only showing the top screen, I have 10 lives. And I just got the first start playing. No, no, no. The cool thing about it, it's not like an only forward thing. You can also go backwards. Like if you miss something good, it's pretty good, right? Got nothing up here. I did all the cool tricks for nothing. Okay, let's continue this. Get a coin. Ah, time for drop. No! The floor makes death so long. Okay, nine lives left. I feel like cat. I feel like cat. Which reminds me, probably gonna do a let's play on Super Mario 3D World. Not after this, but probably pretty soon. So yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky. This is very tedious. Okay, I'm good. What's in here? No, I want something good. I knew this was gonna happen. Look, I completed everything for once. I did everything. Okay, let's go and continue. Why can Mario just use a car? I mean, isn't that easier? Okay, let's get that second, third, last star coin. Continuing. La di la di da. Whee! The best roller coaster ever! It's like the ending of the roller coaster, the best part. Because, you know. You know, the beginning's pretty boring because you're just going up. Now it's getting to the interesting part. And thus concludes this level. And I regained my life. 
Oh, by the way, what I said earlier, I remember that's not true. The Boom Boom and Pom Pom are mini bosses in this game. But that's sad because there's no like mini boss level. They just replaced Bowser in an airship. Which is still so so, but I wish it was Bowser Jr. and the Koopalings. Finally. Should I do the mushroom? Should I do the mushroom? No, I'm not. I don't want to do the mushroom. Whoops. No, I don't want to do the mushroom. Yeah, I don't want a present. Maybe Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. Oh, look, there's Bowser. Let's kill him. But I have a feeling he's going to come back. Oh, no. Oh look, it's like a Goomba, except it's a dragon. It's so cute. No, oh, I'm just killed it. Epic Bowser music playing now. Dun 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 First fire bar today. Ouch! Whoops. No! I hit the lava. Well, I can't seem to get more than 10 lives here. Because I keep on losing them. Bye, dragon. I don't want to kill you because you're so cute. Jump the fire bar. How does Bowser like fire? I mean, besides the fact he breathes fire. Why does he like it so much? It doesn't make any sense. He, he is a dragon, after all. But still, why can't he just make an ice level? Cause, I mean, it'd be pretty cool to have an ice Bowser level. I know, wow, I just don't keep stopping, don't die. Let me try this again. You see, it's really hard, I mean, I'm normally I'm a boss at this level, but you see I have to record with one hand and I also have to play with the other. So it's hard to control Mario sometimes, like that. Now I'm gonna try to use both without doing anything. Okay. Is that good? I knew the resolution is not going to come out good. Still. Finally! No, and now I lost my fire flower. Great. Oh no! Are you serious? Okay, I'll just show this off to you guys. I don't really actually like using it, but it's an invincibility to nuclear. I'm just like a star man, but a thousand times better. No point in using it, but whatever. Okay. That's it. If this ever comes out in your game, it means that Nintendo thinks you suck at video games because now they're just offering you help. See now you can even kill these guys. Before you can only do it with an ice flower. Now there's actually no way you can die except in poison or lava. Whoop! Are you serious? I hate slips. Alright, since you guys saw it, you don't really need to see it in again. Okay, that's it. Bye. Don't like you dragons anymore. Okay, now I'm gonna rage quit. I really do need this. That's how much I suck. Even though I normally would never use this, it's just so hard recording and playing at the same time. And, and it's because of, all because of that star coin right there. I couldn't even get, jump over the thing. There's no possible way you can die on this. Except for the lava poison. They walk right through lava. If it's a live lava, then you can. But if it's regular lava, like right there, you can walk through it.
I feel so terrible. Must be that Let's Play or Chris. See, yeah, now I can even crush the wall. Seriously? That's how powerful this suit is. Uh, it can't destroy Bowser. This is the only letdown about it. It can't even destroy the Boom Boom or Pom Pom either. Okay, look, and there's Bowser right on time. Ooh, look at that HD Bowser. I just heard someone whisper. Who is that? Must be a toad. I see a toad. Trying his life. Well, now we know it isn't Princess Peach. So why bother saying this toad? You mm, eat toad. For goodness sake. Like mushrooms. What the heck? Oh, I know actually that's wrong. See, you can't kill him. You can just walk around him. Playing with Bowser. Playing with Bowser. Playing with Bowser. Yeah, who gives a shit about Bowser? And the button of doom for you. Hey! That's what you get, you meanie. With a tail. But you're gonna burn. So that's how fake Bowser has worked. It's just a dumb Goomba and a Tanuki leaf. It sucks. Mm, if you're happy, you never do anything for me. All you do is just sit there and act happy. Pathetic loser. So I just left Bowser to keep you. I don't feel so special, you guys. But see, what's even worse is if you have to get a uh, P button. Then it just teleports you to the end of the level. Which means you're a really pathetic loser and couldn't even control the, the invincibility leaf. Like me. Okay, guys, I guess it's time to show you the infinite live trick in the second level and the secret pipe. I'll see you back. Okay, guys, and we're back. So you have to make sure you stomp in this people. See? Oopsie. See, you have to try to hit the wall and time it good. Let's see. Yeah, let me try that again. Especially if you have a power up if you're not good at it. So basically, what you have to do is time the Koopa hitting right, and you should be able to hit the Koopa good. The best if you use a Tanuki flower and, and Tanuki leaf when you do it. It might not come out as well as you saw. See, and that's how you wake up a limited right. You get about three lives per second. So you get a lot of lives like this. Okay. And since this should take a long time, and I don't want to, um, well, you know, have unlimited lives on my thing, otherwise my challenge of having a game over would be wrong. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you what it would, what it should look like on a different save file. Okay, back to the title screen. This is one that I've used for so long. So, if you can see at the upper right hand corner, you have three crowns, meaning you have unlimited lives. So, one of the benefits of having this, um, uh, unlimited lives is that mo when, mo when Mario um, gets
it's a mushroom, he loses his cat. And when he shrinks back to normal, small size, he gets his cat back. I guess that's kind of cool. So now I'm going to show you the secret trick. <laughs> But on a different, you know what, never mind. I might have, if you saw something, don't answer in the comments below. Some people like stuff as a surprise. And I have beaten 100% of this info and the game here in this file. So if you saw a spoiler, don't tell others. I might cut it out. As well, I didn't. If you go to this side, the pipe will be there. On the left side is a mushroom. See? I'll demonstrate. And you have to be careful of those things. A little bit farther, a little bit farther, a little bit farther. And there's your one up. So if you really need a one up, you can have it. If you have, if you hear noise in the background. I'm sorry if you can't see it, but that's how the thing works. Okay, so you go down this special orange pipe. And you end up in world two. Yeah. Okay. And this is Lightning Flaming Ice. And make sure to make sure you like, subscribe, share this with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys in the next one.